So guys, this video is going to be about how uh, Kevin Gosman has signed with the Blue Jays for five years. And so, funny story, I'm sitting on my couch last night, right? And then I'm, I'm just scrolling through MLB because MLB.com because I feel like Kevin Gosman is going to sign with the Mets. And then I see Kevin Gosman signs with team. That's, that's the article. And I go on it and I'm like, oh my god, it's finally happened. And then I see Blue Jays link Kevin Gosman for five years. This is the article. So I'm just going to go with, through it with you guys and just to tell you how, like, um, how much money he got, how it's going to change the Blue Jays for the better, um, and just walk you guys through Kevin Gosman's career so far. So uh, in this article, Blue Jays land Gosman for five years source it says Toronto. The Blue Jays have reached an agreement with right-hander Kevin Gosman on a five-year, $110 million contract, a source told MLB.com, adding a major long-term piece to the rotation. The agreement, which is pending a physical, has not yet been confirmed by the club. Gosman, 30, has been targeted by the Blue Jays in the past and will now slide in alongside Jose Berrios, who recently signed a seven-year, $131 million extension at the top of the Blue Jays' rotation. Add in Hunjin Ryu and right-hander Alec Manoa, and the Blue Jays will have the foundation of a postseason rotation as they look to take the next step following the 91-71 and 71 season 2021 that saw them just that, ju that saw them fall just short. The lowdown on Gosman. The Blue Jays knew Gosman well from his days with the Orioles, where he pitched for parts of six seasons from 2013 to 18 after Baltimore made him the fourth overall pick in the 2012 MLB draft. But he hit the markets after two seasons with the Giants that saw him break out as one of the game's most effective front end starters. So we're just gonna walk, I'm gonna walk you guys through now, like, what, uh, how Gosman pitched in 2020 and 2021. So, Gosman posted a 3.62 ERA with the Giants in, in the shortened 2020 season, then accepted the qualifying offer last season and put up a career year pitching to a 2.81 ERA over 192 innings in, 20, in 2021, earning an all-star nod and a sixth place, sixth place finish in the Cy Young Award race. Gosman showed his Gosman showed his usual feel for the zone, walking just 2.3 batters per nine, but ramped up his strikeout rate from 10.6 per nine, comfortably above his average career of 8.9. So, um, basically, Kevin Gosman had a great year in 2021, and it was a career year for him. Um, and I'm happy that he's getting paid by the Blue Jays because I think it was finally time for somebody to recognize his skill like when I saw him last season was the first time I ever heard about Kevin Gosman when I saw his pitching I knew this guy was, was gonna get paid some, at some point and so I'm just happy he's getting paid by the Blue Jays right now and this is a great way for the Blue Jays to like really put themselves out there that they're gonna spend money and they're not letting good free agents walk past them just walk right past them um, but uh, I want to get into like uh, what led up to Gosman's career going this way and like when he was drafted and all that stuff. So we're going to get into that right now. All right, guys. So we are all on Kevin Gosman's baseball reference page. And I'm just going to walk you guys through like where he's been, like how he came up to the big leagues. And uh, yeah, we're just going to do that right now. And his career, how he's pitching his career. So... He was drafted by the Los Angeles Dodgers in the sixth round of the 2010 MLB June Amateur Draft from Grandview, from Grandview High School, Aurora, Aurora, Colorado, and the Baltimore or Orioles in the first round fourth of the 2012 MLB June Amateur Draft from Louisiana State University, Baton Rouge, LA. So I'm guessing that he might have uh, declined the Dodgers after they tried to sign him in the sixth round of the 2010 MLB draft, and then he went to college, is my guess, because there's two, he got drafted twice listed on here, so I, that's my guess, but his career really started when he was drafted by the Baltimore Orioles in the first round of the 2012 MLB draft, so now I'm going to walk you guys through like his career stats and 2021 stats, so in 2021, he had a 5.4 war, 14 wins, 6 losses, 2.81 ERA, 
33 games, 33 game starts, zero saves, 192 innings pitch, 227 strikeouts, and a 1.042 whip. So, um, guys, uh, these numbers are really good. Gosma had an amazing year for the Giants last year, and I couldn't be more happy for him because it's finally time that he's getting um, paid because he's finally been really good for a long enough for a long amount of time. Um, so now we're gonna get into his career stats, and I'm just gonna tell you that these career stats aren't nearly as good as the 20, 21 stats, um, but they're decent. I mean, 16.9 war, 64 wins, 72 losses, 4.02 ERA, 236 games, 197 games starts, so he must have been a reliever at some point. Um, 1,177.1 innings pitched, 1,161 strikeouts, 1.283 whip. So basically, those numbers don't really jump off the page, but these these last two years, 2020 and 2021, Kevin Gosman has really put himself out on the map, and um, I like that the Blue Jays are taking big risks because these are all his years that he's played. He's played six years in Balti Baltimore, um, two in San Francisco. Uh, I didn't know he played in Atlanta. Two in Atlanta, one in Cincinnati. I didn't know that. Um, but anyway, uh, I think this is a low risk thing for this guy. I mean, it could be a, ri a little bit of a risk just because he's only had these two really good years under his belt right now. But I think he's only going to get better, especially in that park, because those fans are amazing. The Blue Jays fans, they're like one of the best fan bases in baseball. They don't clown on their players like the Mets fans do. But um uh, I couldn't be more excited for Kevin Gosman, and let's get into how Kevin Gosman will really help this team. So guys, we're on the Yahoo Sports website, and um, I just want to talk you guys through like how this signing of Gosman for five years, $110 million, I think it is, will help the Blue Jays a ton. So basically, um, he's he's... Gosman is 30, and um, that'll give you a nice even guy in there in the clubhouse because um, he's seen stuff he hasn't seen some stuff, but he will help you, like, he's got good team chemistry, I think, um, so he will help you with that. And then um, uh, also that, that Gosman, the Blue Jays, really bolsters that rotation. Like, you got right now... Uh, you put Jose Barrios, Kevin Gosman, Injun Ryu, Alec Manoa in that lineup, in that rotation, and that really, really helps you with with your rotation because he just adds so much more depth to that to that group of guys. And it was already a good rotation in my opinion, but that just gave it that extra oomph. And honestly, guys. Every team should be scared of the Blue Jays in 2022 with their with their insane offense. They got George Springer, Vladdy, Tay Oscar, uh, Kevin Biggio, and any other guy I'm forgetting. But their offense is amazing last season. Their pitching was a little bit of a wreck last season, not going to lie, to me at least. But... Now that now that they have gotten Kevin Gosman and brought back Jose Barrios, um, this rotation is going to be nasty, and every team needs to be scared of these of these Toronto Blue Jays in 2022. And that's where I'm gonna end it here, guys, because uh, I have a lot more videos to work on. I got school today, so I hope you guys have a great day. Um, and don't forget to be safe. Have a great have a great day today with whatever you're doing. Uh, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.